All right, good day, everybody. It's Channel Crusher here on Lame PokerTuber, and I'm so psyched. It's Guardians Rising. It's out, and it's the Garboulder deck here. Oh, it's so awesome. Except when your opponent doesn't play any items, and then that's when it gets even better when you're gonna like use Acid Spray on them. It's a wonderful deck. I've done loads of testing. I'm really excited about using this in some large tournament. And like winning something I don't usually do because I play a lot of rubbish decks. Like, like well, um, Persimian Slow King wasn't good when I matched up with two Yvalto Garboulders. It's the worst matchup, but otherwise it's okay. Anyways, that is off topic. We are returning on on topic to the deck profile at hand. We have four copies of Trubbish. Okay, Trubbish is really just Trubbish, but the Stomp Off attack is interesting. One Psychic Energy, it's got a top card of your opponent's deck. You're going to discard item cards in this way. Oh, well, that's what you want to try to discard, because Trash Lange here, this attack does 20 damage for each item card in your opponent's discard pile. The more items there, the better, so if your opponent just refuses to play items, you use Stomp Off. And you just force some items into the discard and begin doing damage. Well, you could do that if you are really desperate. But if you're going second, that's your first attack. And of course, we're going to have some Garboders. Three copies of Garboders. I'm so glad I pulled the reverse one. Trash Lange 20 times each item card in your opponent's discard pile. This is crazy. People run like 20 plus items on uh, in the average competitive deck. So... Well, easily they're gonna get 10 item cards in there, and you got 200 damage, choice band 230 damage, Kukui 250. Well, it, it's really crazy. So, Garboulder is a great card here. It's got 120 HP, 3 retreat cost, but we do have cards later on, I'll show you later, that can fix that retreat cost there. And as it's spray, the second attack, of course, man, I'm so excited. One psychic and double colorless, 70 flip a coin, your face is got an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. That's your substitute attack for Garboulder here. If your opponent refuses to play items. And discarding an energy also means that you force your opponent to dig for resources and play items. And now you're probably asking, three garboulders? What? Who uses three garboulders? Well, four garboulders technically, but this is the breakpoint garboulder with the garbo toxin ability. The attack here, offensive bomb, is entirely useless. It also has three, three retreat and is weak to psychic as well. Weakness here, it's actually a good weakness in my op opponent, uh, not in my opponent, in my opinion. Uh, I'm too excited. So, because you only have 120 HP, you're just getting knocked out anyway, and you're accepting the fact that you're going to get knocked out. Just set up a load of garbolders, come out, attack. So, the weakness to Psychic is completely fine, plus there isn't that much Psychic around now, except like Garbolder himself. So, yeah. Anyways, that's it. Uh, four, three, one, got border line, I guess. I'm not quite sure what you're supposed to call it when in a case like that. But that's not all our Pokemon. We also have more Guardians Rising. One, Drompa GX here. Righteous Edge, one colorless energy, 20, and it's got a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. What we're trying to do here is we're going to use our Pokemon trainers and everything to try and force the opponent to dig through their deck to find some way to recover and thus play more and more and more item cards. So Righteous, uh, Righteous Edge really helps with that. 20 damage isn't much, but it's fine. The point is that it's special energy. You could switch this out for a Jirachi if you wanted, or you could switch it out for the Tauros GX. That, that could also work, but just want to use some Guardians Rising and like try out Drampa. As well as I think Drampa has like Big, Big Wheel GX is good for recovery I guess and besides it is the only GX attack in this whole deck so I mean it's not every game using Drampa if your opponent doesn't play um, special energies then don't use Drampa and of course there's a second attack uh, 3 colorless 80 if your bench Pokemon have any damage counters on them this attack does 70 more 3 energies for 150 that's pretty good for me but the thing is, with such low health Pokemon, it's going to be kind of hard. But if you do manage, it's going to be a nice attack. Also, we have one Oranguru and one Shaman. Shaman, you know, just bench draw up to six. I know you're asking, one Shaman? Why? Why just one Shaman? Because, well, this deck only needs one Shaman, really. It functions perfectly well with Shaman. I even tested without Shaman in the hope that my opponent will not take extra prizes. I still could set up, actually, but one Shaman is just more consistent. Two Shaman is just 
getting in the way. You're gonna like start out with shaming and reactive. That's not nice. You get get your shaming Lysander and KO'd. Your opponent takes two prizes. That's not nice. I know Drumpa is just gonna get KO'd too, and that's four prizes for your opponent already. And that's probably enough for them. But the thing is, Drumpa is 180, and it's not easy to KO. If they Lysander it out, hit it, they're just gonna fight back. With like righteous edge, discard your energy. It's gonna hurt them. But if you don't discard energy, well, Drumpa shouldn't be in play in the first place. Orang Guru, 120 HP, instruct. Once we can turn, you may draw until you have three in hand. And Psychic's a nice tag. Also, three colorless Psychic, 60 and 20 more times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So, Orang Guru could be another secondary attacker here. But mainly, it's for the instruct ability that we have Orang Guru. It's wonderful. This Pokemon lineup, I am very confident in it. It's great. Drumpa is just kind of like optional. You can even take it out if you want, but I'd say always use like one secondary attacker. It, you, you could switch it out for like Jirachi Tauros, I don't know, this little stuff. And now for our supporter lineup. This is the, the weirdest supporter lineup you have ever seen. I am guaranteed approximately 100%. Okay. Whew. We have two copies of Sycamore. We have two copies of N. We have one copy of Judge. One copy of Teammates. One copy of Delinquent. One copy of Kukui. And one copy of Lysander. I know, it's so crazy. I'm gonna go through all my choices now. Two Sycamore. Sycamore's just discard your hand draw seven. I mean, we all know that by now, but two Sycamore? We've never seen that except maybe in Quad Lapras or something. But yeah, this is kind of similar to Quad Lapras in the, in the sense that there's nothing in the deck that you really want to discard. And yes, I've tested this support lineup. It's fully reliable. Don't, like, don't show me that questioning look. I know I can't see it, but I can already imagine it being there. Like, two Sycamore, what is this nonsense? And two N and one Judge. I mean, you want to use three N, go ahead. But I just, like, if you realized I actually dropped the Birch for this deck, because I do want to kind of, like, Shuffle my opponent's hand away and then like cause a little bit more disruption for like just because why not and judge well it guarantees four so late game you can still use judge and not need to discard your hand but get to draw a few cards so that's why we have judge and two copies of N both players shuffle their hand to their deck and draw one for each remaining prize card they have actually I don't think I need to do that today and then there are these teammates. You can only use the you can only play this card if one of your Pokemon was knocked out during your opponent's last turn. Switch your deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand, shuffle your deck after it. That's pretty straightforward. What you're gonna do, you can just like set up a whole guard boulder like that. It's a very versatile card, plus like versus seeker, just boom, pull up teammates, go. Two cards, anything you want. It's a great card considering that you're gonna get knocked out like every turn if your opponent plays items. If they don't then just acid spray, acid spray until you win. And then they'll be forced to play items. So, delinquent. Discard your hand, discard items. Discard any seating card in play. If you do discard, three, uh, I mean, opponent discards three cards from their hand. Kukui, draw two cards during this turn. Your Pokemon's attacks do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So, Kukui is just a little bit of extra damage there. It can really help you out in some cases. 20 damage can just change the game. Just like Drumpus 20 and they come with a guard boulder. It can change the game too. And we have one copy of Lysander. Pull out something from the bench. I mean, we all know Lysander, right? Necessary one. You could use two if you wanted to. But we're hitting tanky guys, so why not? Oh yeah, and look what else is weird. Our Pokeball lineup. It's... Okay, I'm not as confident as in this as in the supporter and Pokemon lineup. But this has been tested and it works just fine. Two copies of Ultra Ball, three copies of Nest Ball, and one Timer Ball. I know, right? Like, what? All right, time to explain my choices. Ugh. Nest Ball. Early swarming, pull out a load of rubbish because we don't want you to be locked out of like, by, by turn one, you want to have like three rubbish in play. If you just have two, that's fine. But if you only have one in the active, that's not very good. So that's why with Nest Ball, we want early sw swarming with our Trubbishes. Get out all the Garboulders quick, including this one there. And we do have two copies of Ultra Ball here. 
Because yes, we do have shaman, and we do need to like discard certain cards from hand just so we can like draw with Oranguru. There isn't much you want to discard, so two is like I wouldn't run anything more than just two Ultra Balls for this deck. And one copy of Timer Ball. This can help us search up our Garboders so well. Like, if you flip two heads, there's two Garboders. If you flip one heads, there's one Garboder. Still fine for me. If you don't flip any any hits, I mean, that's just... Okay, fine, but that doesn't usually happen. So, I mean, this, you can feel free to change this. It's just my way of doing it. And it works fine for me, so, yeah. Maybe different for you guys. Four copies of Versus Seeker and three copies of Trainer Mail. Versus Seeker, take a supporter from your discard into your hand. If you notice, we run very low counts of each supporter in this deck. So, Versus Seeker just got even more essential. We also have three copies of Trainer Mail, top four of your deck. Take a trainer there and put it into your hand. It can help us search up all the items we have in this deck and the supporters as well as the stadiums. And well, of course, we do need some disruption for this. So, four copies of Crushing Hammer is used in the deck. So, this forces your opponent to dig through the deck for more energy cards, and that's why it's something we use here. You also have one copy of Enhanced Hammer to complement that. I would use like a Team Flagrant, but I don't think we have space for that. And more disruptive stuff. Field Blowers, we have two copies of it here. It's a great card. Choose up to two in any combination of Pokemon tool cards and stadium cards in play, yours or your opponents, and discard them. So that's very disruptive. Plus, you discard tools, you get items in the discard pile. So you you ha you do have a few tricks to force items into the discard pile for this deck. Also, two copies of Floatstone that Pokemon discard is attached to gets free retreat. It's what you want to attach to this, not this. And maybe like one of these guys here. Well, but, okay, um, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but, okay, fine, I'll spoil it for you. We run Ultra of the Moon, so this isn't, this is mainly just for this, mainly. Two copies of Rescue Stretcher, either just Buddy Buddy Rescue, but your opponent doesn't get to take it, or Super Odd, only for Pokemon, you get to choose one of them, because, well, realize that Garbodor only gives one prize, we're gonna use, like, six Garbodors, we're definitely gonna need to recycle, recycle them, that's why you have two copies of Rescue Stretcher here. You could use more if you wanted to, I guess. And of course, we have one Super Art to help with that as well. It's three in any combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards from your discard to your deck. Alright guys, looks like we ran off space. I'm sad. Ah, even after zooming out so much, this still has to happen. I'm very sorry for the delay. So, well basically, Garboder is a great deck. It's very easy to set up because it's a stage 1 Pokemon that only needs one energy card to attack for hundreds of damage. Plus, it kind of acts like a Valplume, stopping your opponent from playing items, forcing them to not play them. If your opponent does play them, then you're hitting for a lot of damage and then they're just going to lose the game because you can easily knock them out with a one prize giving Pokemon that's too easy to set up. It's broken really. But if you know how to play against it, I guess it's still possible. Three copies of Choice Band here to do an extra 30 to EXs and GXs. Just set that there. And for our stadiums, people, we have three copies of Altar of the Moon. The retreat cost of each Pokemon, both for yours and your opponents, that's any psychic or dark energy attached to it, has two retreat costs less. So that just very helps with retreating Garbodors or anything else on the field. So Garbolder's heavy retreat isn't really a problem anymore. Not that you usually want to retreat Garbolder. And that's it, guys. It's just our energy lineup now, and we're done. We have two copies of Double Colorless. Acid Spray is a thing here. Berserk is a thing. And Psychic is a thing. Sky Return is not a thing. Sorry, Shaman. No offense. But yeah, so that's what DCE is for, because often you're going to need to use Acid Spray to force your opponent to dig and play down items and just, like, accept the fact that they need more resources. So, oh, you can see a bit of the stand, right? And yes, this is a, a music stand I'm using. We don't have the best of equipment. Seven basic psychic energies here to power up your Trashalanche, Trashalanche attack. 
if you want to use like one less that's fine yes i know this is kind of a lot but that's what i do i use a lot of energies because i'm ocd anyways guys that's all for today's deck profile we should like comment and subscribe garboders are awesome even though they're gonna break the game i hope i can go for like the north american international championships and like win with this deck but i don't know i'll see you next time on the channel